This is Sunday, June 17th, 2018. Nice day out. Going out for a spin here. More practice. Learning. Haven't crashed in several days. That's a plus. This, uh, the road here is torn up from last year. They, uh, put city water line in right down through the middle of the road, of course. We had nice well water here, and, but they just didn't want to pay for the upkeep, I guess. I don't know. It sure tastes different. Got chlorine in it. it smells like crap. Anyway, this is the main drag. There's an entrance way up at that end. You can come in, or behind me there, there's another entrance. But this is supposedly a one-way street, which nobody uh, follows the law on that one. They just, even the mailman, he goes flying up here. Well, just like me, flying. That's the road up behind them trees there. The one you've been seeing in my videos. That's the power line. Goes right through the middle of my yard. I'm down there on the right behind that white car at the far end there standing there with my controller. Still line of sight. I, I couldn't quite see the drone from there, but apparently the signal was getting through. I was kind of flying by the uh, by what I could see on my uh, tablet screen there on the controller. Trying not to hit anything. Trying to remember which way the sticks were supposed to go. One good rain down through there will be washing that whole thing out. And they'll have to scrape it down smooth again. They haven't done anything in at least three days here. So. Typical. Typical government employees, whatever they are. I don't know what they are. I wouldn't hire them. And that down there, the bluffs on the other side there, that's uh, 
That's the Mississippi River Valley going down through there behind that white line of houses or buildings, whatever it is. That's Minnesota on the far side. This is uh, Wisconsin on this side. You can tell why the Indians fought so hard for this, can't you? About uh, three miles up that road, you come out on top on this side of the river, and then you can come back around there to the left and up along behind that ridge line and come out onto a little park called Granddad Bluffs. You can overlook the whole city there. One of these days, I'll get up there with my drone and fly from up there. After I learn how to fly it good, I don't want to be losing it. About two months ago, all that was white, snowed under. Cold. I'm just below the 45th parallel here, so it de definitely gets cold. I need to find me a relatively high spot to sit with my controller and fly from so I stay in line of sight it signal doesn't go through these trees and branches and stuff real good and it'll make it if it's not too much but uh, I don't want to I don't want to be losing this one so I need to find a higher spot to uh, control from fly this drone from which I, I know I know the spots to get out to but I just don't drive anymore so I'll have to either uh, take my bike or get my brother to drive me around he said he would so get him to uh, drive me around now and then can't get back in there with a car though that's all farm you need a tractor <laughs> uh, I guess a pickup would do it, a car would do it too but it's all private land and got fences and gates and stuff sure is nice that guy there down there with a the red roof he owns all that on this side of the highway He uh, leases it out. It's hunting property now. He leases it out for 
I guess they grow. He leases out to a farmer or somebody that plants these fields. Yeah, I don't think it's him doing it. It may be. I, I don't know him that well. I've talked to him a few times, or his wife a few times, but uh, I don't know the full story. Anyway, it's a nice place, huh? That field right there at the bottom left. That's, uh, I want to get up at the end of the driveway where I live and there's a nice little spot to sit up there. Right under, right down there. Right to the right, far right, where that black car is right now. Right there. That, that red tra truck. Right there. Right in that area in the center. There's a spot to sit and I can, uh, I can fly all over his uh, back 40 from there. Oh, I could just could just go up uh, at the end of the driveway there and uh, walk back a little ways and sit in the, uh, on the grass beside this road there right over my house and I could fly from there I could fly a long way from there which I might do that next tomorrow maybe it's supposed to rain I mean, we got a big old storm coming but it's over the horizon still but see uh, right down there, right down there in that narrow strip along the right side of the road, in that grass strip where the white line, that's a, that white line going up there, that's a, a steel retaining wall right there. You can see it at the bottom. It's a steel retaining wall. There it is. You can see it from there. So anyway, uh, if I go right up over my, uh, blue shed or the house there I can fly right from in them weeds there and uh, be all out of traffic and stuff and I could uh, literally fly all over from up there or just walk up the end of the driveway at the far right upper corner there right up in there a nice little place to sit, but I don't have a chair or nothing. <laughs> have to sit in the weeds. Anyway, back home. I'm backing into the uh, parking lot there. I've been uh, been making hand catches lately to uh, keep from hard landings and that kind of thing. So I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm backing into my hand. And we're just about done here. A few seconds to go. You can see, uh, See the shadow of my hand catching this thing. Alright, gotta do some work.